everybody, it's James here from GoodGuitarist.com and in today's lesson I'm going to show you how to play Songbird by Oasis. Now this song is just a two chord wonder. Same two chords in the same order the whole time and they're actually pretty simple chords with a really easy switch. So if you're just getting started, this is a great song to work out those very basics, you know, like keeping a steady strumming pattern and all that kind of stuff. Now, if along the way you find that you need some help, I do have some resources for you. There's my free ebook, which covers all the fundamentals of rhythm guitar. I also have one of those for lead guitar. And then there's my premium course, which takes you through all the basics step by step and gets you to the point where you can play along with literally hundreds of thousands of songs. Anyways, we're going to get started out with the chord shapes. And our first chord shape is G. And you're going to want to play it that way for this song because it makes the switch super easy. Our second chord is E minor. And you can see when I switch, I'm leaving down my first finger. So just try that like a million times in a row, just going G, and then you lift those fingers and you place that down, you get your E minor. And then you lift that finger, you place them all down again. Just going back and forth, trying to get your chord switch to sound nice and clean. You could even test out each string, you know? Just pluck them slowly, switch to E minor, test them out. And if you're not hearing this string on E minor, you just have to arch your fingers more. Get your thumb a bit more on the back of the neck. I don't know if you can see it there. Instead of being like up here, having it down allows you to curl your fingers enough that you'll be able to get that sounding good. Now there is one more chord shape that we can use during the transition. So I kind of lied about this being a two chord song. This can be a two chord song. You can play just G and E minor, it sounds totally fine. But if you want to make it sound exactly like the recording, during the transition between the two chords, they do this one thing. We start off on G, and then during the transition we go like this. So I have my G chord, I take off these two fingers, and then I just press the second fret on the low string. And this just happens for like a split second. So if you don't do this, you're not really gonna notice it. Then from there, we would go into the E minor. And then when we switch from E minor back to G, we do that. So I have my E minor shape, then I just spread these fingers apart and I get the second fret of the lowest string and the second fret of the G string and then back up to G. But don't worry about it. If it's too much for you, you can just stick with G and E minor. But if, you know, if you're already really good at those chords, you might as well challenge yourself and get this transition in there. Anyways, before we move on and learn the strumming pattern, let's just practice our chords in order. We're going to use downstrokes only, so the rhythm's going to be super simple. This is mainly about counting it out and making sure you're playing the chord for the right amount of time. Starting off on G, one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Two, two, three, four. Three, two, three, four. Four, two, three, four. Then E minor, two, three, four, two, two, three, four, three, two, three, four, four, two, back up to G. I'm going to do the transitions this time. Two, two, three, four, three, here it comes. We go one, two, three. So I did those transitions in the last measure, right before switching on beats three and four. You know, so just work that out if you're if you're into it. You can always rewind it and just take a look at it and try it a couple times. Otherwise, we're gonna move on and learn the strumming pattern, which goes like this. And that's a pretty basic strumming pattern. If you have my ebook, my free ebook, it's essential strumming pattern number five. And if you need extra help with it, I'll put a link down below to that video. Anyways, um, let's just quickly break it down on a G chord here. We go root, down, up. And when I say root, I just mean to hit the lowest string. So just 
root, down, up. And then the second half is miss, up, down, up. So we miss the strings, then go up, down, up. When you put that together, root, down, up, miss, up, down, up. And if you're having trouble getting strumming patterns together just in general, I recommend doing this method where you just put your arm down and up, because that's what your arm does as you're strumming. If you watch any guitar player, their arm's always moving down and up, even if they're not making contact with the strings. That's like a built-in metronome. And then you count. One and two and three and four. And so the down strokes, those are the numbers. One, two, three, four. And all the up strokes are the ands. One and two and and so forth. And just get used to that first. That'll get your body moving in the rhythm. One and two and three and four. And, and then all you got to do to learn a strumming pattern like this one is just take a look at it. Take a look at that counting and see how the counting lines up with the strokes. It'll follow the same rules. There will only be down strokes on the numbers and up strokes on the ands. You know, the root is a down stroke, right? So root, that's on beat one. Down, and then our arm comes back up on and without making contact with the strings. Then on beat two, two, and, you know, we have to make contact on that and. So one, and, two, and, three. You know, we're missing it on beat three. And, four, and. And I want you to just work that out. You know, don't worry about the rhythm yet. Just work out the mechanics of it and the motions. And when you're ready, you can count steadily, as slow as you need to. One, and, two, and, three, and, four, and. One, and, two, and, three, and once you get used to it, once you get used to doing it in the right order, it'll be a lot easier to speed it up and get it sounding like the real strumming pattern, like the actual rhythm from the song. Anyways, we're gonna play this together, but before we do that, if you are doing that transition, you know, we have to modify our strumming pattern a little bit during that measure. So we'd play our strumming pattern normally on G. One, two, three, and then here we would go root, down up on G and then root down up on the next chord which is like G over F sharp and then same thing as we're coming back to G on that fourth measure of E minor root down up root down up so just work that out and now we're gonna put that all together at first I'll play it without the transition a couple times then I'll do it with the transition so if you're not quite sure what's going on just watch this play along and you'll see exactly how to do it nice and slow here we go starting on G one two three four third time fourth time switch I'll do the transition. Here we go. Root, down, up, root, down, up. Twice, three times, then root, down, up, root, down, up. Do it a couple more times.
All right, so that's how you play Songbird by Oasis. Once again, if you need any extra help with this, I have a bunch of resources. There's links to them all down below, my free ebook, my premium course. So please check those out if you need any extra help. Otherwise, have a fun time practicing and I'll see you soon.